I think there's something very universal about the story. It's like, yeah, it's it's set in in rural America in 1969, but really the setting or the time are not relevant to what the story is really about. Uh, and we only chose that time because I think it's probably like the last innocent years, <laughs> right? And, and it, it was a, a very complicated time in history. So actually to sort of like in the middle of all those things happening to show these four kids locked up in a farm, uh, shielded from everything. Uh, there's a moment that I really like in the film, which is when it's just a second when Jack goes to the store and sees that man has landed in the moon, mm -hmm. and and he has no clue that that's happened. Not that, or none of the tremendous political things that were going on. I think it's uh, it, again, it's like a, the the beauty the beauty of fairy tales is that they can take place any anywhere. And there are some elements of the story that sort of like it's almost like a, a grim fairy tale with. Uh, the classic evil figure. It's like Hansel and Gretel and, and Billy and Jane. He's like the most wonderful actor. Uh, he's a great guy. He's so committed to the film and so attentive to every minor detail and so disciplined. And it's like he never steps out of character. I remember once he, he sent me a video from his hotel room where he was doing this, he was practicing these moves. And the first <laughs> thing I was, context, I was, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> there's no dancing or anything, but he was like, what if Jack walks like this at this moment? And, and at first I, I, I didn't even, I wasn't watching him because I noticed that he, the walls of his ho hotel room were covered with <laughs> pictures and notes and things he was picking up everywhere to sort of like surround himself with all things Jack. And so that it's great to work with someone like that. But on top of that, he just happens to be an awesome actor and it's just the all the the richness and the layers that he gives Jack there's the there's his vulnerability and his fear and how much he's able to love and and the physicality of him also it's like he's completely aware of every muscle in his body it was just a, a great pleasure to work with him yeah. well I think um I think it's sort of, I think it was kind of more just an ingrained thing in terms of, I think there were like, I wouldn't sort of want to be called Jack or anything like that. I would sort of respond to, to George, but I think it was kind of just the, the days were so kind of all consuming in a lovely way that just sort of happened. Right. And there's, there's sort of, there's certain scenes where you kind of make a real conscious effort not to step outside of them in any kind of way. Um, and then other, other times which, which kind of I, I've sort of in some ways felt very much like myself, but I think I sort of myself kind of became Jack a little bit for the time that we were out there.